Rumor has it that Gary Gensler is on his way out of the office, and that's all thanks to the recent debacle. Gensler went after big crypto companies, Coinbase and Binance US, and that could have sparked a lot of heat on him. However, the unfortunate part about this entire ordeal is there's a really high chance that the person to replace Gensler will follow in his footsteps. Now, what do I mean? I think we'll just get another version of Gary Gensler 2.0. Don't believe me? Just wait and see. Before we get into today's video, let's roll that intro. As always, welcome to MoneySide, your favorite crypto channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you get updates when we drop new videos. Don't forget to smash that like button and you can always leave a comment or a question in that section below. Right now, we all know why Gensler is not the most favorite person in the crypto world. That's because he went after Coinbase and Binance. But there's another side of the story that everyone seems to be ignoring. Check out this tweet by BitfineXed. Everyone is mad at the SEC pursuing Binance. Literally nobody is mad about Binance, wash trading, front running, market manipulation, fraud, etc. Shows you how brainwashed crypto speculators are. Bitfinex also shared an interesting comparison between FTX and Binance, stating maybe crypto speculators need to stop defending fraudsters and liars. The only difference between FTX and Binance is that the CZ struck first against SBF. SBF could have exposed Binance and FTX be where Binance is now, mutually assured destruction. There's parallels here to the FTX uh, fraud and manipulation that we saw and we allege uh, against Sam Bankman-Fried where he had uh, a sister organization Alameda and the special arrangements with that trading platform FTX. I think the crypto industry more broadly, if it's going to have any success going forward, has to come into compliance with basic public policy about disclosure, about avoiding conflicts, about segregating, properly segregating customer funds and guarding against fraud manipulation. Without that, this whole area stands a chances a collapsing like a house of cards. Like Gary Gensler says, the crypto market could easily come down like a house of cards if we keep letting liars get away with fraud. An excellent example is what happened to FTX. Literally, all media houses were parading SBF like the king of crypto because he had the right people in his pocket. And when things hit the fan, the impact was felt throughout the whole crypto market. I don't claim in any way that the SEC's actions are right, but when it comes to Binance, chances are it's a company that should be looked at thoroughly. To add salt to the injury, Binance is under investigation and that several countries, including France. In fact, Binance was actually shut down in Nigeria, though it seems the Nigerian Binance wasn't actually an entity of Binance proper, but maybe they were planning to sell the idea to Binance. But hold up, instead of the SEC going full throttle on Binance and actually getting to the bottom of all this, the two parties have decided to go into an agreement. More importantly, the U.S. court actually supported them. That's why I believe that some of you guys are being brainwashed. The whole crypto community is being brainwashed. Binance.us shared a tweet explaining their situation with the SEC. The tweet states, We want to provide an update on the current battle. Binance.us finds itself with, with the SEC. We are pleased to inform you that the court did not grant the SEC's request for a TRO and freeze of assets on our platform, which was clearly unjustified by both the facts and the law. Instead, we were able to reach a court-ordered agreement with the SEC that allows us to continue our ordinary course of business. There has never been any evidence presented by the SEC concerning misuse of customer assets. In fact, the SEC lawyers conceded in court earlier this week when asked by the judge that they had no evidence suggesting that any such thing had occurred. The SEC's request would have effectively shuttered our business, which is consistent with the agency's continued attempts to kill the crypto industry by any means, even by making allegations that are not supported by the facts. The fight has damaged our business and our reputation, but not our fighting spirit or our resolve to defend ourselves against unwarranted charges 
and regulation by enforcement tactics that do not belong in our system of justice. We look forward to continuing to defend ourselves in court. Now, how come the Binance case barely took a month while literally Ripple has been at war with the SEC for months, literally 18 months, in fact? Now, granted, these two cases are quite different, but someone is lying to the public. I think it's likely that the SEC picks out its favorites instead of following the law. This could potentially lead the crypto market into a very dark age. Moving forward, let's look more into a tweet by Warren Davidson. He says that right now we are surrounded by the digital and yet we own none of it. He further says that self-custody and permissionless payments are non-negotiable, yet some want a future without property rights. That's the heart of the debate. America needs, as soon as possible, a legislative framework to allow experimentation and innovation to let our most creative minds find ways to develop privacy and security controls over our personal assets, and to ensure that your digital assets, the lifeblood of the next century, remain personal in your control and not for sale for others' profit. This is just a reminder, keep your own coins in self-custody wallets. According to Bloomberg Law, we will, as a society, accept that corporate intermediaries, beholden to shareholders but not to you, possess and control our most valuable and personal information? Or will we, individually and collectively, fight to control our own digital assets, our money, our entertainment, our communication, our own public persona. In more interesting news today, we can see that BlackRock urges the SEC to approve their Bitcoin ETF, according to a tweet by WhaleChart. If you're wondering how the crypto community feels about this, here's a tweet by Wendy O. She tweeted, the BlackRock BTC spot ETF is not bullish in any aspect. They are monopolizing the industry in the USA so that they can destroy crypto, further the wealth gap, and make you submit with their CBDC, not be fooled. She goes on to say that the SEC will most likely approve the Bitcoin spot because it's BlackRock and it's all part of the plan. BlackRock is affiliated with 99% of American goods and now they will control your money 100%. As always, trade safely, guys, and always do your own research. Thanks as always for watching. Couldn't be here without you. Don't forget to like this video and please click on that subscribe button below. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get informed whenever we post our amazing content. Thanks again, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next Money Side.